to my channel. So today's video is going to be quite a different one um, from a normal content of this uh, channel. Some of you might probably not continue to watch. Some of you might just stop watching. Some of you might even um, unsubscribe from my channel um, after being this video. But there's just something that I really, really want to share with you guys. And I don't hide from the fact that I am a Christian, from the fact that um, my beliefs are set on Christ. I am not a religious person. It's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with God. just sort of wanted to make a segment on my channel that it's probably going to be called Words of Encouragement. Um, session with you girls because I, I'm human and you guys probably might see me here on the channel all smiley, happy, joyful, jumping, excited in my pictures, but most people don't really know what goes on behind your life after that camera shuts down because you only let the people see in the channel what you're recording, but they don't see exactly deep down exactly what it's going on with your life. I just wanted to share this session with you guys. I'm going to try and um, call it words of encouragement because everybody in life goes through a hard situation whether it is marriage, whether it is a relationship, whether it's I lost my job, my marriage is going downhill, I'm losing my mom, I my the doctor diagnosed cancer on myself, on my partner, on my mom, on my family member. Whatever it is, we live in a world where it's real, where we don't live in Disney World, we don't have fairy tale fairy tale lives. Uh, so I know that most people go through hard times. And I wanted to share with you guys something that really helps me when I'm going through hard situation. I have been going through a very, very hard situation for the past five months. It has not been easy whatsoever. I was raised in the gospel since I was four, three, four years old. So I actually know that when I'm going through a hard time, I kneel down. And there's a quote that says, if you kneel down to God, you can stand up to anything and anybody. And literally, it is like that. And um, I'm sorry if you hear a mess. It's my kids playing in the room. But I really wanted to get this video out for you guys out there. So I know that there's going to be a situation in our times, in our lives where we're going to face and we're just going to say like, what the heck? There's this thing that says, when it rains, it pours. And literally, I can't sit here and tell you what I'm telling you because I am going through a tough situation in my life. I am going through a trial moment, a test mode where God tests you to see how great your faith is, to see if you're in it to because you love him and you're grateful for everything that he's done to you in your life and sometimes we just open our umbrellas when God's umbrella when we're going through a hard time and we just look for God when we're going through a hard time and it is much more than that girls it is much more than that it's not about having a, a, a religion it's not about oh Sunday sermons and I have to go to church and I have to stop wearing makeup and I have to stop wearing this it the gospel goes beyond what our minds can possibly think of it's a relationship with God and when you have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God when you pray and you seek him and you read his word it's just your life is completely different it's it, you will see that it's not all about going to church and people pointing at you because you sin differently than them and because you have a tattoo or because you have piercings believe me I have piercings, I have tattoos that in one of my times I did when I was younger. God looks at your heart, believe you me. I, when I tell you it goes beyond what the world has said the Christianism or the gospel to be, it's beyond that. It's beyond pul pulpits, pews, singers, altars, beautiful churches, small churches. Let's just stop our minds from that and just put it all to a side. It's about our relation. I just want to share a small testimony with you girls. So you can see how powerful it is, the hand of God and the prayer. When it says prayer moves mountains, prayer moves mountains. Like I tell you, I, my mom actually uh, went through a open heart surgery at the age of 43. 47, I'm sorry. At the age of 47. Every doctor said that it was impossible for someone so young to have open heart surgery. 
and that because of her health his history it was a very delicate very very delicate uh, pre uh, procedure sorry I think about it and I get all goosebumps and I remember like yesterday she was um, on the surgery process and we're outside waiting on the waiting room and I'm with my pastors and I'm praying and we're praying and we're praying and we're praying and I remember telling God God please do not take her away from me you know I need her because mind you this probably six months before my mom went into open heart surgery I lost my brother so I said God don't take my mom uh, she's literally what I have left so I remember I prayed really really hard and I told him God please do your will and, and please let you be the one operating her in that operating room and my mom comes out of the operating room and she's into intensive care because she you know it's a very very delicate uh, procedure time goes on probably a year down the road I find out that my mom after heart surgery they gave her a pill to uh, liquefy the to make the blood very thin and it actually gave her a massive heart attack after open heart surgery most people do not recuperate live after you get a massive heart attack after you get open heart surgery so I told the doctor I'm like what and he's like yes there is here on the papers proof that she was actually um, uh, brought back to life and she they used the the, the the electro things or whatever I'm not a doctor or a nurse and I prayed unto God and God actually through a pastor through my pastor I think it was told me you pray to me not to take her and that's exactly what I did I gave you your mom and I did not only give back to your mom but I also lengthened her days of live of life in this earth and I just could not stop crying because I said I didn't know you hear my prayer I, I sometimes we just say I God I don't think you hear my prayers but he does he listens to every single one of your prayers the Bible says that even the deepest desires of your heart he knows them if you're praying for something let it be your mom being sick your husband your 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 marriage there's gonna be times where you're gonna get tired and you're just gonna be like oh I don't see nothing happening but remember, the darkest hour of the night is exactly the last bit that is about to see sunlight. Believe me. Believe me. You will see light. You will see the doors of the heaven open up over your favor working for you. So this little testimony with my mom for me was just like beyond knowing that God listened to me. Every time I face a hard situation, I pray my marriage was collapsing my marriage was in the border of just signing papers and this is something that I tell you because it is actually a testimony but God will turn your test into a testimony that will help many people out there and that's what the enemy doesn't want my marriage was collapsing my marriage was just like signing papers you on your way and I'm on my way but when I and my husband decided to just undress ourselves like you know what I'm not gonna keep fighting with my strength and just put it onto God's hands and say God if it's your will for us to be together you will change myself and you will change him in order for us to make one because it's not about changing your spouse it's about changing yourself and then your spouse will see the change in you and he will be like you know what if she did it why can I I encourage you whatever it is that you're going through put it inside in your in God's hands and you will see amazing things if you don't have a church where you can go and 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 pray and 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 fulfill yourself with the word of God I'm gonna put my church information down below you would say Francis how can I get to freaking Florida my church has their live uh, services on YouTube every time there's a service my church is live on YouTube so you can be in Africa you can be in Spain you can be in New York and Los Angeles whatever it is that you're uh, watching me from you can tune into my church with the link I'm gonna leave down below the services are uh, the date and um, times of the services are there all you gotta do is listen for 30 minutes my pastor preaching and believe me you will get so many strength and you will be encouraged to 
continue on in life because there is a word that I just want to share with you guys today. Jeremiah 21, 29, 11, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I absolutely love that verse from the Bible. It's it's just uh, it's just it just gives me it uplifts my spirit and just reminds me that God has better plans for me. I know that we might sometimes make mistakes and and sometimes we live in the consequences of our mistakes, but it doesn't mean that God is gonna make something good out of it. God makes something good out of, out of every situation. God wants to turn your mess into a message. God wants to turn your test into a testimony. Everything that happens in your life happens for a reason. It's not about religion. It's about relationship with God. So for today's words of encouragement will be Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. So I hope you found this video a little bit helpful to if you're going to a situation. And I hope that you still love me and you don't unsubscribe to my channel because I'm not going to hide the truth. I am a Christian and I don't care. My life has never been the same after I accepted Christ and I actually have Christ in my life and I'm not ashamed to share with you guys. So thank you so much for sticking till the end. I appreciate your love and if you still love me and you're still not going to subscribe, unsubscribe to my channel, I send you hugs and kisses. And if you know of anybody that's going through a hard time and needs a little bit of words of encouragement, I dare you to share this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want more words of encouragement from me to you. And if you haven't subscribed, hopefully you will subscribe. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you on my next video. Bye.